After facilitating the return to school for some needy persons across some communities in Fako Division, the Bright Light Project is once again at the center of community development through the empowerment of the gay child in skills acquisition training. The whole idea came as a result of, okay, now there's a crisis in Cameroon. Many families are very poor. Many families are not able to work for the past five years. They don't have means of education. So Bright Light Think, rather than just coming to give food, we start building the capacity of the young generation, particularly girls, because they are more vulnerable. Girls are more vulnerable and they are exposed to danger. Today, the charity organization is on campus at the Opportunity and Industrialization of Cameroon OIC Boyam, where some eight girls have been selected to enroll in vocational training. Because when the guys started, I lost my parents around and around my grandma. So since then, my grandma was not able to send me to school. I lost my dad to the strike. The unknown men killed him. And ever since then, life has been so difficult for me. I've not been able to go to school. I really have the dream, the zeal to go to school. But that the finance is not there. Even, in fact, I felt like my hopes were shattered, my dreams were gone. So I am really, really happy that I was opportunity to be linked to this this program. So it's a dream come true for me. OIC today is receiving the first batch of beneficiaries from Bright Lights projects. Um, OIC signed an MOU with Bright Lights uh, projects to equip, to train um, their beneficiaries. And today we are receiving the first batch under the project The Girl Shall Rise. The learners will be impacted with hands-on training where it is expected they become self-reliant, hence creating wealth that touch the live wire of the nation. So OIC puts a package in entrepreneurial skills. It does a little bit of accounting, a little bit of marketing, a little bit of um, business transaction, and all of that will package in Seventy percent practicals and thirty percent, seventy percent practicals and thirty percent training. This goes a long way to tell you guys what we do here. It means we are so in depth in vocational training to recall that actually trainees who come here get just the best. The honors, therefore, is on the trainees to remain steadfast with their studies, so they become distinguished ambassadors of the Bright Light Project as well as put smiles on the faces of others. All of this is a striking push to me to make me achieve my dream as in I'm going to work extra hard to see that I don't disgrace myself and I make the bright light to be happy for me. And I also promise that I'll come out the best, amongst yeah. the best. The measure I have with others is I promise to talk to them so that I will concentrate put on the effort so that will be the best. Our expectation is for them to finish the school, their training program and become reliable and how they can contribute to the development of their community. The charity organization plans to extend its tentacles to more vulnerable girls, providing empowerment opportunities on the trainees so they can contribute in alleviating poverty through alternative sources of income.